Hey, what's up, Anfinex? AJ from AndroidRoots.com with me on the Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. And today I'm be showing you how to install the stack 4.1.1 on your Galaxy S3, the RAM version. So uh, you're basically just going to be installing the stack RAM on your Galaxy S3. And this RAM already comes rooted, so you don't have to worry about rooting or anything like that. The only requirement here is that you must have Clackamod Recovery already on your device. If you don't have it on your device, you can you can look right there for both um, Mac and Windows. Uh, just keep in mind the Mac version will only work if you're if you're currently running on Ice Cream Sandwich, but the Windows version will, will work for both Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean. So um, let's go into my file manager. I'll show you the, um, that we download the RAM. And as always, I have a link in the description below for the zip file. So just download that zip file. Do not extract it. Um, just keep it. So as you can see right there, I have the uh, DOX um, T99UVDLJA.zip. So you can be downloading that. Um, do not unzip it. Just leave it zipped and just transfer it onto your phone. Or you can download directly onto your phone if you'd like as well. It really doesn't matter. It's a lot easier just to download directly to your phone. Um, but don't unzip it. Just download it. Transfer it. So once you have a download onto your phone, we're going to enter into Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode. Just like you would install any other custom ROM. So we're going to power off. And keep in mind, this will only work for T-Mobile. Do not try that on any other carrier or any other device. So wait until it turns off. And then now we're going to enter clock my recovery mode. So we're going to press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power. But keep rolling the volume up and home center button. All three. Vibration, let go of power. And wait till it boots up. All right, now you can let go, and I'll boot up into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, you'll be on the screen. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look at that. All right, so first thing you're doing is uh, wiping everything and doing a factory reset so you get a nice clean install, uh, maybe because you want another custom ROM or something like that. So this will delete all your apps, all your, uh, not music or photos, just your apps, uh, contacts, all that. So make sure you back it up uh, before you do this process. If you want to go back to and back it up, you can just select the very first one using the power button. But if you're backed up, you're good to go. So do wipe data slash factory reset. Go down all the way down to yes. And select it. And you can navigate using the volume up and down and power button. Okay, that's complete. Now we're going to go to wipe cache partition. And select yes to install or clear. Okay, now we're going to go to advanced. Uh, wipe down the cache, the second one, and select yes. Done. Go back. Installs it from SD card. And now mine was on my external SD card. If yours was on your internal, then go to the, choose the very first one. Choose it from SD card, but mine's on my external, so I'm going to choose that one. Choose zip from S external SD, SD card. So I'm going to choose that one, and I'm going to find it. So as you can see, mine's right there, DODEXT. Right there, select it, and select yes to install. And there's no G apps needed, nothing like that. I'm um, just this, and once this is done installing, reboot, and then we'll be done. So give this a few seconds to finish. Okay, so the installation took about two minutes, but now we're just gonna go to go back and reboot this from now the first one. And now it's gonna reboot your phone onto the stock 4.1.1 Jelly Bean for your Galaxy S3. Uh, just keep in mind, this will not be safe uh, method to send back to the manufacturer. All you're doing is installing the stock RAM 4.1.1 on your Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. Just keep that in mind. Um, I would actually recommend this if you already have Clock Mod Recovery installed on your device. Much easier to do, and it's already rooted, so a lot easier. Less uh, work to do and less hassle and less problems in the end. So I'd recommend you do this if you have Clock Mod Recovery. Um, and if you don't, you should get Clock Mod Recovery. Very good. So I'll wait till this boots up. It should take about two minutes to boot up, two to five minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm on the setup screen. Let me just skip through all this. We'll head down to settings and show you we're on the official stack 4.1.1, and we're already rooted. So a lot easier method, very, very simple to use, and a lot easier um, than the just unrooting and installing the stack one. This is still stacked, to let you know. There's no modifications. Very stock. You still get all the T-Mobile bloatware, I believe. Yes, you do. You still get the T-Mobile bloatware. Let's head on to settings, about device, and there you will see we're on 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, you'll see the kernel, build, everything. And when you do uh, keep pressing on this, you'll obviously get the little Jelly Bean, hold it down, and you can play with little Jelly Beans as well. So that is how you install 4.1.1 Jelly Bean on your Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile only. Do not try any other device, only T-Mobile, or you'll end up uh, uh, soft breaking your phone, which will really suck in the end. 
So um, try it out, very, very easy to do. Just install Clockwork Recovery, install this RAM, and you're good to go. Very easy to do, and I recommend this because you already come pre-rooted with this RAM. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to me and give me a big old thumbs up as well. Thanks, guys. And uh, also good ways um, to contact me and follow me and all that is to Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links will be in the description below. Yeah.